So, also, have you been affected in any way by what's been happening in Afghanistan at the moment? Only that we send um, troops out there. I'm also a, a deputy honorary colonel for the London Regiment. I look after Sea Company in Baton. And we've got, I think it's nine fusiliers at the moment on um, Operic 16, currently with the Grenadier Guards, and we've got some deployment with Operic 17 fairly shortly. And we sadly learned last week that um, we have one casualty from the London's who's lost two limbs, so um, this is the first time for the London Regiment we've had a major casualty like that. So, um, I should be popping up to the hospital in Birmingham to see him at some stage. So what's your opinion on what's been going on? In what respect? You don't have a political opinion or a... Um, no, just like an opinion. Well, I have to say, um, we, the British Army, are blessed with wonderful soldiers. Now, I'm sure every army says that. But I'm just astonished at how the boys get on with it. Um, whether it's the, the drill for the marching last Friday, which, again, the boys have just come in from exercises and, and um, you know, working up for um, very, very uh, high level of training for what we call theatre training at the moment and mission-specific training, which they've been doing because they moved to Cyprus to become the, um, the reserve over there, reserve battalion. And right at the end of that, they had two or three days drill and were on parade and as good as any other battalion I've ever seen anywhere and carried it off with enormous pride. The same applies um, in Afghanistan. The, the boys just get on with it. It's, it's quite astonishing what they do. Um, and we don't need to tell them. Uh, one very simple story from the 2nd Battalion, I was talking to the company commander, and he said, I'm, I'm just amazed that when we moved into, I think it was Nauzad, one of the, the camps, that the little fortifications we call sangers, you know, sandbags wrapped around and so on, um, the, the boys moved in there and they could see straight away that they didn't like what they saw, so they started reinforcing the fortifications, unbidden by the sergeants or anything else, and they were tidying the place up and giving a good sweep out and so on. And that's what our boys do, and I have to say, um, you know, it's not so much I'd be out of a job without them, but it's, they deserve enormous respect for what they, what, what they do under the sort of circumstances they do it. Um, but they just get on with it. And um, do you think there's anything about the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers that makes it unique? Well, we're the only Royal Regiment in the Army. Is that unique enough? But Formed by James, James II here on the tower, I don't think anybody else has... Um, anything sort of you think it. is really special about it? Well, we wear a hackle, um, which is really, technically speaking, a feather plume. And we're rather attached to that. Um, and we think it's something rather special because it's, it, it's as significant as the colours, the colours of the flags that we carry. I'm um, used to carry into battle, insofar as, you know, a lot of soldiers have lived their lives and in some cases died, you know, to wear that badge and that, uh, that plume. And I think it's rather special because, apart from the Royal Welsh, which are no longer fusiliers, I think we're the last, we're certainly the only English regiment now to wear any sort of um, hackle like that. And so very distinctive, nothing else. Okay, well that's all of my questions. Thank you very much for coming today.